Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Friday, May 26, 2017. The tarot card for today is the Two of Wands, and this one is by artist Paulina Cassidy. Many of you are probably familiar with her. She is a very prominent tarot artist, and I want to tell you that right now she's currently working on a new deck, okay? And when I have a chance to sit down and communicate with her, what I hope to do. I want to bring you all of the information that I can about Paulina and her current, you know, future, past projects, everything that she is going on, as well as where you can go meet her in person because she does do quite a few shows near home. And if you're fortunate enough to be there, you'll be able to check out her artwork, not just her tarot cards. You will absolutely love it. Now, all right. Two of Wands. Here we are. Yesterday was the new moon in Gemini. What is going on? If ever a Two of Wands represented a major crossroads, this is it. Right here, right now. Which way do you want to go? All right. It's all about that choice. I'm sitting here getting the chills as I say this, okay? This is a crucial moment in your life. And, you know, I don't think that there's a wrong choice at this point okay the only wrong choice would be to do nothing all right but you're definitely choosing a direction there's a whole world out there and you have options like finally you have options all right one of the ways that i basically have always looked at this card is that let's say you had two options and one you could kind of see what was closer you know, like what the results might be if you did A, all right? And B, you're not so sure, but when you look further down that road in the long haul, you're like, is that really? That looks like something really good down there. Is it worth my effort? And I'll be honest with you, at this point, I mean, I think there's a number of decisions to be made along the way over these next two to three months, okay? This is just the beginning, but... I would set my focus on the long haul. If you're clear on what your goals would be, all right, you may make a lot of short-term decisions along the way as well. But this moment feels too crucial. It's like, do I do this or do I do this? You know, I don't think the short-term fix is what you want. I think you want the long-term fix with the whole new life and the lack of aggravation and nonsense that has been present for so long. So this is a major, major moment and give it great consideration. I think that the power of the new moon is definitely there to help you. You have so many things that are working in your favor. And honestly, once you get into, you know, June, I don't think there's any stopping you. All right. This time period from the moment that the sun went into Gemini, it's almost like, you know, things were activated then. You could feel the change. And then the 22nd came and you didn't have Venus in shadow anymore. You didn't have Mercury in shadow anymore. And things became clear. So this is a like a day by day. You're just going. All right. And this is your first decision point here. Okay. What do I want to do about this and this? And I think that, you know, thinking about it, there's going to be possibly more than one situation that you're looking at. All right. Tackle them one at a time. Take your time and think about them, but definitely don't be idle. And as I said, this is a huge transition, probably one of the biggest of your life. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It's probably one of the biggest of your life. And what we're working toward right now, we're really working toward September, but that major turning point for you is going to be that total solar eclipse in Leo on August 21st. I have said it so much for so long that by now most of you either probably can't get that date out of your mind or you have it marked on your calendar because it's just going to be a phenomenal thing. And I want to remind all of my friends who are in the U.S., you know, that eclipses don't normally take place in locations that are easily accessible. This one is going to traverse the entire United States and it's been dubbed as the Great American Eclipse. So you might want to look that up 
and see where you are in reference to it if you're interested in seeing it because it's going to be a phenomenal sight and a phenomenal moment and what you're choosing today has great bearing on what that turning point is when you arrive at that total solar eclipse so i want to thank you all very much for listening i'll see you here again tomorrow and as always have a great day